taking a look at the first bio pool in India, and this is located in an eco resort in Hesargata. The person who made this happen is. Don't say that. Good evening. My name is Martin. Um, Where are you from, Martin? I'm from Canada. Canada. And what are you doing here? I work. As? As an architect. As an architect. Can you tell us how the bio pool got done, Martin? Uh, it got done by digging a hole uh -huh. and uh, lining it with plastic. Which plastic was it? PVC plastic. PVC plastic. And? One and a half mm thick. Right. And then we filled it with gravel. Okay. And um, we have installed the piping for uh -huh. the filtration system to happen. Uh -huh. And then we've put water in plants. What kind of plants have gone there, Martin? Um, Typha. Um, mm -hmm. like the, Typha is a, a well, but there's, no, but What is the species? Typha okay. longi. Phragmites? No, no, Phragmites is one thing. Typha. Uh -huh. Any and water plants. Right. And, and, and it looks like there are two zones in the pool. Ah, yes. Huh. Let me take you through the pool. Okay. <laughs> we have half of it. Okay. We have mm -hmm. half of it, which is a swimming area. Mm -hmm. This portion here. Mm -hmm which is a regeneration zone. We don't see any plants here, uh -huh. but actually it's here. Mm -hmm. And on this side is called the planted filter. Right. Where at the bottom we have a pipe mm -hmm. sucking the water mm -hmm. from the root zone mm -hmm. and uh, injecting it through mm -hmm. injector jets, mm -hmm. which creates bubble, mm -hmm. as we can see, as we can see on these pictures here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and those injector jets re-inject the water which has been sucked from underneath mm -hmm. from underneath the root zone okay underneath these plants mm -hmm. um, the roots having uh, consumed the nitrogen the extra phosphate and we assume this water is clean we recirculate it Martin obviously the big advantage is that there's no chlorine in this uh, ah, swimming correct. pool that's correct uh, what are the challenges faced in uh, uh, building a pool like this to build it, there was not much challenge, but to make people understand how it's being made, mm -hmm. but to make to um, uh, to run it, mm -hmm. you have to ensure that nobody piss in it. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, because so what piss happens? has a lot of nitrate, okay, and that increases the nutrients, which uh, makes the algae flourish. Right, and so. This is changing the culture of people. People usually piss in a swimming pool, do they? Yes, I do also. <laughs> so, yeah. so in a bio pool, you don't piss. Well, you can, huh. but not too much. But not too much. All right. Yes, and you tell people not to do it. So right. if they do, at least uh -huh. they don't feel so good about it. <laughs> right. And then again, what the uh, what's the other challenge with maintenance? <coughs> um, the temperature should be below a certain degree why is that otherwise the um, micro uh, microbes will huh. flourish will bacteria flourish. will uh, flourish right. better on a hot temperature so how do you water. keep the water cool you create deep zones and you shade uh, the pool in some uh, in the season where it's very hot uh -huh. and you create deep zones where you can re-inject the water there you circulate the water so being deep that's good chance that it's keep Wonderful. Yeah. How's the pool doing now? The pool is doing well. Just one uh, comment. If the temperature is higher, you si still can maintain a healthy pool by putting more plants, by keeping the vegetation always higher. Right. As we see in the pond, village ponds are healthy. So. so, and do you have frogs in these ponds? Oh, we have frogs. We have frogs. frogs. So, we actually, you're swimming with plants and uh, yeah, frogs. Yeah. And Usually, frogs are always within five meters from humans. So, right. we can see them as soon as we step in, they go away. Right. We can't do without. Yeah. Even so if we would have a net all around or a mound or anything, they would come. Right. So the next time you're in Hatsargata, uh, don't forget to go to the eco resort. Oh, I didn't forget. Uh, oh, okay. Go swim in the pool. Yes. Yeah. The laughter in the background are the bunch of colleagues who are making a themselves. <laughs> So, ecological architecture is fun, huh? Yes, everything is fun. You got anything to say to the viewer? Um, 
You can try, uh, no, no, sorry, don't try this at home without uh, <coughs> parental assistance, advisory, as it is, it could be injurious to health and to uh, surrounding. That's Martin for you from Canada, the designer of the first <coughs> bio pool in India. No, maybe not. No, it's being shy and modest. Look at him blush. <laughs>